and now we're going to be talking entrepreneurship, job creation, and um, I have two very interesting guests here with me uh, who are going to be helping me dissect this. Um, I'm, I, I'm not going to try and tell them apart. <laughs> <laughs> they are twins. Who's Tobias? I'm Tobias. Tobias yeah. and Titus yeah. Igwe. Thanks for being here today. Found us Speed Mills Mobile Kitchen, yeah. um, which is five or six years old this year. Uh, six years now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what, what does your business do, first of all? Let's start with that. Okay. Speed Mills is, um, is a mass feeding company, okay. basically. We do meals for corporate, corporate uh, organizations, and then we also do events. Okay. Events catering. Yeah. So you're mostly around the food sector. Yeah. Is yeah. it hard working exactly. together as, brothers, as twins? Mm, no, it's interesting <laughs> because we see ourselves as a team. What my brother has, I don't have. What he does, I don't do. You know, he's more of a technical guy. I'm more of an operation guy. You know, he's a chef. He cooks and all that. Why I do that mean? You know, <laughs> it's quite a bargain. <laughs> okay, yeah. so that, that works great for you guys then. Yeah. It, it, it would have been, but you also find that sometimes, I mean, we've seen, we've seen issues that, we're talking about Peace Square now, the, the musicians, yeah. where it became an issue of, well, I also want to do this. Why are you taking the shine of me? Have you ever, guys ever had that issue where you feel like one is outshining the other? Um, well, really, I think we complement each other. We've had issues whereby, at the initial beginning, where each person is like, trying to define what area I'm, go I'm really going to specialize in. And later we discover that he's a left brain person, I'm a right brain person. So we just cannot do the same thing and do it yeah. uh, excellently well. So we say, okay, you know what? Just focus on the area that you're good. Why are you focused on the area I'm good? And we've been yeah. amazing well for years now. So Great stuff. So getting a partner was pretty easy for you. I mean, you, your partner was <laughs> has been with you all your <laughs> life. From birth, but we yeah. know that partnership is probably one of the most important things in, a, in any business. Yeah. Most people tend to look for a partner sometimes for years, and they keep changing partners because whatever they find doesn't necessarily click. What are some of the things you should be looking out for if, for if I want to start a business now? What kind of things should I be looking out for in a partner? Well, when it comes to, to a partnership, initially, we didn't just decide to come together because we are twins. You know, we were both dif doing different things initially. Okay. At the point, we now found out that, well, we, we, can, we, can, we, can, we, we can join this together and create something um, special. So there was this um, a different um, contributions. First of all, I have something to offer. He has something to offer. Uh, you know, and I think the major basic thing to look at for is someone to compliment you. I see partners who will go, someone going to choose their partner and going to choose exactly the kind of person that he is. You're going to have conflicts because you want to do this, you know, I want to design this to make it red. Someone will say, no, I want it to be green. And that little issue of color will become a lot of issues and you begin to deridize on making business decisions. Yeah. And such things, that can easily kill business. And there's also good you put a structure in every partnership, even us. Even though that we are twins, we are brothers, and we are twins at the same time, but we have to put structure behind it. And we have a board of directors who also, you know, they, they supervise the activities of the company, and they don't look at it because I'm titled, because he's Tobias, no. They say, oh, this is what you're doing, and they judge us based on the targets that they have given to us. So he has yeah. targets to meet, I have targets to meet. It's purely business. When we are in the office, we are business partners. When we leave the office settings, we become twins again. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Speaking of targets now, how, how have you evolved? I mean, you started off in 2010, you said it's been about six years now. With regards to, I mean, it's a business you're running. So how has the business evolved with regards to profits and growth? What are some of the major milestones that you've noticed in the last six years? Okay, um, first of all, when we started in 2010, we started with a 50,000 naira after the death of our father in an accident. That's actually when we, we started our business. So we started with cake. We, we, we started after learning how to make a cake. We, we had to go back home, and then the question was, how then do we survive? We're not least, we didn't list out, okay, we want to start a business. We were just a means of survival. They just go get out and then survive. Then, I think maybe my brother had to drop out of school, then I had to defer for one year, then I get started, then we started a business. So what we do is every weekend, we make cakes on Saturdays and bring it to church, and they distribute it to our little children in the church, and say, don't eat this cake, take it to your parents at home, tell them your uncle now makes a cake. Then from there, gradually we start getting cake order from the parents. Then the, the same child will go to school. Whenever he hears their colleague, any of their classmates, and just mention bed, they say, yeah, I know my uncle in church can make cake. And then we start getting cake order. So we, we have grown from uh, just a mere cake making comp uh, organization or, or business to now a full fledged uh, industrial catering uh, outfit. Our company cooks for US government here. In, in, in Lagos, U.S. Consulate, and Morocco, and quite other, other organizations now. So we are now a full-fledged company. So when they put other big uh, players in the industry, they also put their uh, speed in that in that light. So in terms of our turnover as well, of course, you know, for us to compete at that level, 
we have attained some yeah. um, financial. Like, do we have two offices currently now? You have one? We have two offices currently. Two offices currently yeah. in Lagos, of in course. In Lagos, of course, yeah. yeah. Um, and you did this on under on, on 30. Yes. How old were you when you started? <laughs> I think we were 20, 24. 24. 24. 24. 24 when we, when we started. But we registered the business when we were 24 years old. Okay. You know, because initially we never knew it was going to be like this. You know, it was something, it's our survival, you know. And when we now started getting out, people started coming, no, you guys do this birthday cake thing. Like, why don't you guys do wedding cakes? We started doing wedding cake. People say, why don't you guys do this cake of a thing? Like, why don't you guys do food? You know, and we keep going. But b before then, we, we, we were working as office cleaners. And one of the things we noticed that workers send us out every day to go buy food for them. And the, the places that we go buy those food is, is so, so horrible. You know, imagine, I've had a case where you see someone who is having tuberculosis at an advanced stage, you know, Still cooking okay. food and serving food for the public. I mean, imagine the health uh, 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 danger that this particular person is putting a lot of people inside. Now, you also have the case of where, you know, we want to buy a particular kind of food at a particular time, the day is not ready, you have to either buy something else or you come back. So we're like, well, if you want to go do this food of a thing, we need to do something different, really different, you know, because if, if you come to a party now, for example, we have people who, are, who have allergies. I don't eat these, maybe for health concerns or religious concerns and all that. But you come to a party, you know, you can't see any difference at all. You have to make do with what you have. Some yeah. people have diets and so on. So we said, okay, we want to deliver fresh and healthy meals on time to busy workers, you know, in their offices. And then also serve uh, event catering. And now what we have been able to do, we have been able to develop what we call cold section, cold and hot section. So for any event that we do now, for example, we give people the option a cold section or a hot section. Hot section is basically hot food, rice, and the common stables that we mm. have. But when you have the cold section, we have different arrays of vegetables. You can choose to select your own kind of vegetables the way you like it, and we mix it up for you as a salad, there and then. And so even if you don't want, you have um, allergies or you are watching your weight or whatever, you there's can still eat you. something. There's something for you. Yeah. And this is what really that makes us um, um, different. Yeah. Is it interesting that you, I mean you say you started at 24? You find a lot of young Nigerians today who want to do their own thing. You know, people are a little more creative and entrepreneurial these days. Yeah. Um, people who graduate from school or they want to be beauticians or makeup artists or shoemakers or whatever it is. So you're seeing a lot more of that now, but people still find a lot of issues with regard to starting up their businesses, you know. And at the age you started, what, what sort of advice would you give someone who's in their 20s now who wants to start a business? Because people always complain, oh, there's no capital. Oh, power is a problem, you know. We all have these issues. How do you surmount them realistically? Okay, for us, um, when we started Speed News, the whole, the whole world was against us. And we, we, we didn't start looking at the problems that was on ground. Rather, we went into ourselves and began to ask ourselves questions. What must I do? What, what way must I really ma ma uh, and, uh, and, and well, navigate you these very problems that we have? And at the point, we begin to ask ourselves, okay, you know what? How can I make do with what I have? On ground, what can I make do with what I have? And I was okay, we have 50,000. The greatest thing that will happen, to, first of all, to a young person never is scale acquisition. You need to acquire a skill. Most of these young entrepreneurs that want to start a business, some of them, they don't really have that skill necessarily. That's really a marketable skill that they can sell. So they just, maybe they want to start a business, they feel that, okay, when I started, I'll just employ people and then keep it on. We have to run this for years to be able to master the craft, master the art. Then any other person we are bringing on board, they are not learning under us or we'll bring people to train them, you know, to get to a level, you know, there's that growth path that we follow. But most young people now, they don't, they don't want to go through that growth path, that stress, that difficulty, that, because to start anything and sustain it is very difficult. Mm -hmm. Most times we feel like giving up along the path, but we just, because of the vision and the drive that we have within us, we just said, we, we just cannot give up now. <laughs> we not, now. Let's try one more time. And then each time we keep trying, we keep getting better at it. Each time we keep trying, we keep getting, getting better at it. So whatever is it that you want to start, the key thing is decide you want to start, be ready to make a move. Most young people want to start, but they don't. They are not willing to make a move. They are not willing to, to spend the sleepless night. If you see, I mean, sleepless night. That speed mistakes us. Two days ago, we came back home from work around 4:30 in the morning. We walked till 4:30. That's not that we slept some point. We walked till 4:30 in the morning. What were we doing? We could have as well go and stay at home and say, "Don't worry, I've started a business. People know that we we we, we own speed mills. Let them keep doing it." But we have to monitor uh, pro, monitor our, our quality, monitor keep make sure those processes that we put in place is actually well followed for us to be able to achieve our business uh, vision. So I think it's more about uh, the young people taking that step, really. Yeah.